like if there's somebody here or if there's something here please leave me alone i just gonna come here for a while hi guys as we all know it's the halloween season right now so there's no better way to share some scary ghost stories with my two lovely friends sarah and paling shall we begin Okay, so this happened to me around a year back and I shall call this story the mysterious doppelganger. So one fine day, me and my friends, we decided to go to a staycation. Let's name my friends Timothy and Cheryl, okay? So we decided to go to Aloha Changi Resort. We didn't know it was just right beside the old Changi Hospital. Like when you look out the window, the Changi Hospital is literally right there like saying hello like greeting you good morning every day so that was like the first red flag the second red flag was it was the seventh month we just decided to go during the seventh month like we just you know like yolo you know what i'm saying so when we step in right you know the feeling when you can feel like a room is very crowded in a sense like the presence of our lovely brothers and sisters in the room yeah i can really feel that so strongly you know so i but i just went in i didn't tell my other two friends timothy and cheryl because they were equally as scary cats as me okay since there were three rooms right so just nice ma each person have one room everything was going very smoothly okay until at night when we decided to go to have supper oh oh my god wait actually this is really that scary okay okay <laughs> Me and Timothy, we usually get ready like pretty quickly. So we wanted to have supper nearby. So we went to check on Cheryl. So we asked, we went to Cheryl's room and then we asked Cheryl, Cheryl, are you ready? Like, should we go? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so, wow, I can really remember the image like vividly in my head. Okay, so like Cheryl, right, was back facing us, packing her stuff into her bag, okay? So she was like, all the way she was back facing. And then she told us, Never mind, you all go outside first. I will catch you guys up in a bit. So we thought maybe she's in a bad mood lah. She don't want to like face us or anything. So we just, mm, okay, we will just wait outside. Then we just leave her alone in her room. When she's ready, she come out, okay? Oh my gosh. So here is like our, our resort, our room here. And then nearby, there's one car park. So the car park, right? We saw Cheryl walking towards us when she's supposed to be inside the room packing, okay? And like, we were all in like, shock, you know? So like, I started shouting like, Cheryl, Cheryl, is that you? Like, I thought you were supposed to be packing inside. And then Cheryl was like, Noah, Noah, like, I went to, uh, I went to my car to take some stuff. Wow, I tell you, we all froze on the spot, man. So like, me and Timothy, we just looked at each other. And we just kept quiet, lah. We were like, silent, like for like, a good five minutes and then while we were silent right like okay there was nobody burning incest like around our area but we suddenly smell like someone burning incest huh? incense so like okay sorry sorry i don't mean burning incest <laughs> i mean burning incense <laughs> basically we smell that la I, I i i don't i'm not even gonna say the word again <laughs> so like yeah we smelled that and then we were all just like you know we froze to the spot and then we told cheryl whatever that happened then after that, we just like, okay, then why? We need to get out of here, okay? So, we literally like ran to the car as far as as fast as we can and then just drove off. So, we went back in the morning, we took our stuff and then we just like chilled there in the day but at night, we just go somewhere else. That was really like an unforgettable story, man. That was like my first time encountering su such stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so the moral of the story is if Cheryl was in the car, then who was in the room? The Cheryl sounded exactly like, like the original Cheryl, dressed exactly like her, but just that she wasn't facing us. What if she turned around, Xia? Oh my gosh. Hi, uh, my name is Tasnim, and today the story I want to be telling you guys is the little thing. Okay, so I went to somebody's like a friend's house to stay and like stay over the night and it was just a last minute plan because it was getting late and i couldn't go back home because like, there wasn't any taxi so yeah so when we were in the room at night right her old she told me that her older brother would come in um in the morning to take something because like he needs it for his work or something like that lah. so i was just like okay like cool so it was 
three plus I was like lying down on her like I was lying down on the floor because like I didn't want to sleep out with her then like she like knocked out she was like like KO okay so about a couple of minutes later I heard the door her room door like open so I just thought it's her brother lah then I just like oh okay then I just like because I'm not close to her brother so I just like sit down then I'm like oh okay like cool so I was waiting for him to come in and take his stuff so he didn't come in. Then I thought, okay, maybe he's shy that I that I was there. So I was just like, oh, you can come in if you want to. So like I said it. I said if you, you can come in if you want to. A uh, entire minute later, the door was open and like I felt somebody looking in, but he didn't come in. So I woke up like with my phone and then like I just woke up and I walked towards the door and I opened the door, but there wasn't anyone there. Okay, so maybe he left. He went to the washroom or something. So I closed the door and I went back to sit down and like he's supposed to come in the morning like you know like 6 a.m or 7 a.m not like three o'clock then i was like okay like maybe i don't know maybe i'm just like picking too much okay so i was like then i went back to lie down then when i lie down then i heard her door creak and like it creaked open and i was just like okay maybe he want to take his stuff for real this time like he got he woke up early or something and he didn't come in so i was just like what is the deal with this guy i I started to get annoyed so I woke up and I went to see again and it wasn't he like he wasn't there there wasn't anyone there and like her hall is huge and like the lights were turned off probably just wind or like something then I just opened her door and I walked about three steps and I saw that all the windows were closed and like there was no way that the wind would blow the door open so I was like okay like kind of weird like out of 10 I was like 3% freaked so I closed the door, like this time like I closed it properly and I like pushed in the door, okay, like the door knob. So when I pushed down, I was just like, probably nothing like it's okay. I closed the door and I turn and then when I turn, then the door swing open. Like just swing, like just swing open. And then I was like, like if there's somebody here or if there's something here, please leave me alone. I just gonna come here for a while. So I faster closed the door. I put the stopper, so she had a stopper in her room. So I like put the stopper and I woke her up. I was just like, wake up, wake up, wake up. There's something weird going on. And she woke up finally and I'm just like, your door open. You said your brother's coming in. Your brother's not here. Then I'm like, can you go and check if your brother's awake? So she went and she checked. Then she's like, no, her brother's asleep. Then I'm just like, then I don't know. But okay, that's kind of weird. And like, I didn't give her an explanation to why I was leaving early. But the thing is, right, I did ask her around like uh, about her house and stuff like that so it said that like um her family like keeps um keeps things like you know like to protect their like wealth or whatever because i don't know like they are rich or something so like it said that they keep things to to like you know like like you know i mean like things right in the 20 years nobody has stayed over in their house except for me so that one time I stayed over, then she said that maybe something like it felt uncomfortable that you were there or it was like detecting a unknown presence or something like that, that it kind of like did something. So yeah, so she should have told me this like way in advance before I came there. That is her fault. Ever since then, like I kind of like cut contact and like talked to her so little, even though like she spoke to me last week, like, hey, you want to stay over there? I'm just like, no, like. That's good, like, no, but we can just talk, that's about it. Hi, my name is Lakshmi, and I'm going to call the story The Ouija Board. Okay, this happened to me in 2016. Um, basically, I used to live in a residential school. We decided to, you know, make your own Ouija board where you do the get all your stones and like create things from below and move it here and there. To make it a bit more better, we also made beetroot juice. Um, because apparently if you use bl blood or like some kind of juice at 12 a.m. and go to the mirror and say I'm Bloody Mary, apparently she appears. But yes, we decided to do both to just get some hallucination and some haunted experience, which we do regret until this day. 12 a.m. we set the board and like, you know, you have like magic words you have to say. Okay, so there's this particular word where it's called, um, I'm not going to say it here on camera, just for the safety of, of all young audiences. Um, this appears in the movie Grudge, the one where she's like, oh! just for reference. So if you want, you can go Google it. So at 12 a.m., we decided to use the word and you're supposed to ask a very specific question. Mostly you have to ask a yes or no question. 
and we decided to go for do you want to kill one of us because why not why do we have to like give introduction go straight in for the kill so we ensured all of us were like sitting opposite of the boat so no one could like control where the stone goes and we just nothing let me tell you nothing happened like nothing at all and we were joking about how this is a myth it doesn't happen ghost stories are not real and we went to do something else we came back half an hour later and the stone which was in the side moved to yes moved to yes uh as someone who's already really really afraid um you can imagine i started panicking i started freaking out and then uh to test because i have few crazy friends who decided to actually test if there are ghosts we decided to take beetroot juice go into the bathroom we switched on the light because we are not that brave we need some light and we are scared little human beings we switched on all the light it removes the effect but whatever we went to the mirror like the bathroom mirror which is already cracked imagine few like 7th or 8th graders going in front of the mirror and saying where are you bloody mary or something related to bloody mary and the lights just shut all the lights just shut I'm embarrassed because I actually peed a little and I don't want anyone to see the chair. Going back to the story, all the lights went off and um we were really freaked out. We screamed a bit harder than how I screamed before and um all the teachers or everyone in the block started coming and asked us what happened and as 8th graders we just said we saw ghosts and No one believes us till date. They think we were a bunch of lunatics. So basically we really felt something. We screamed and it was it was I feel like Bloody Mary is alive. She is in this world in this realm and we could feel her presence and that's what we saw like in terms of the lights going off in terms of like the stone moving to yes. Can you imagine how freaky like that's just insane it's a true story i feel like you all should be safe you all shouldn't use wheezy boards or even try calling bloody mary at 12 am so for this week's giveaway tell us which story was the scariest for you and why if you have any personal encounters yourself let us know below too okay so that's it for today guys have a spectacular halloween remember to like share and subscribe